All right, here's part two of graphing sets of inequalities. We've got multiple inequalities. We're going to put them all in the same graph and shade them all three different directions and see where the area of overlap is. Well, the first thing we need to do is solve these all for y. Now, the second one's good to go, but the other two need solved. So we'll do that right here. 2x plus 5y less than 25. So I need to make this y, you know, basically put it in slope-intercept form. And we could do a bunch of this in our heads and stuff, but I'm going to spare you that. This is 5y less than negative 2x plus 25. Got to be careful. I don't want to go that far down there. And then I'm going to divide by 5 on each one. That does not flip the inequality. It's only when you divide by a negative. So we got y is less than negative 2 fifths x plus 5. Okay, that one gets that one gets a blue star right there. All right, and now let's go with an orange thing here. I'm going to take this one and solve it. So I'll rewrite it here. So I have a little setup work to do on this one. Uh, I'm going to subtract 5x. Let's do this as quickly as we can. So 7y less than or equal to negative 5x plus 14. And then we're getting there. Now we're dividing by 7, and that makes the alarm go off because we're going to switch this inequality now. Remember that. So that gets flipped. So now it's y is greater than or equal to, and this would become positive 5 sevenths x minus what? 2. And that one gets the gold star. The one here in the middle gets the yellow star. Okay? So I'll tell you what. Since this is all jumbled up here, I'm going to rewrite all three of these. And I'll, I'll write them right down, right here. Uh, the first one is y is less than negative 2 fifths x plus 5. I'm going to color code these on purpose. The yellow one is y is less than or equal to. Uh, 3x minus 2, and then the gold one is y is greater than or equal to positive 5 sevenths x minus 2. Yep, okay. So I got my problem here. This is going to be what I'm going to be graphing, and this is going to shade this. So we'll do it in colors so they really stick out. We'll do the first, the blue one here. Um, I'm going to go up 5, 2, 3, 4, 5. Put a nice big old dot right there. Again, we're reviewing some good stuff here, graphing lines and so forth. The slope is negative 2 fifths. So I'm going to go down 2, 1, 2, and over 5 this way. 5. So down 2, over 5. That dot would be right there. And uh, this would this be a solid or dotted line? This would be a dotted line. Uh, makes it kind of tricky to make that. But and you want to supersize these lines. You don't want to make little wimpy things. Make them like longer than your x or y axis. Remember, this is the y axis, and of course the x axis. X. Yellow. Negative two. Now again, don't shade this yet. If you do, you're going to have a mess on your hands. Negative 2 is my y-axis intercept, so that's right there. And the slope is 3, so I'm going to go up 3. 1, 2, count the origin, 3, and over 1. So that's right there. And this is a straight line, so I should be able to draw that kind of nice there. It's not too shabby. Right there. There's my yellow line. Now we'll go to this cool orange color here and graph this. I'm going to go down 2. That's going to hit right here. So I got another point on top of another point there. And I'm going to go up 5 and over 7. Up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then over 7. That's 5, 6, 7. So let me recount that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'm actually up 3. 
So it would be about right there. And that's also equal to, so it gets a solid line. This one could be dicey here. There it is. Not bad at all. Love that. Okay, now, from here we need to figure out where we are shading. So I want you to mentally shade this. Below the blue line. Less than, below it. So, you're, don't do this with your pencil, but it's all of this. Okay, all of that. I can just delete that like magic. Uh, above, or no, actually it's below the yellow line. It's below the yellow line, so it's all of that. Now remember, our solution is where these things intercept each other. And the orange is greater than. And I think you can see what's going to happen. So look at it one more time. Below the blue, below the yellow, and above the orange. If you were to sit there and take crayons out and color that really lightly, you would see that the overlap would be this triangle right here. All right, we're going to check that here in a second. This would be your final answer. So if you're taking a test, that's what your answer should look like. It's above the orange line, below the yellow, and below the blue. And that would be the area in which these three regions, these shaded regions, would collide and uh, intersect each other. Have a good one.